So wait, wait, you, you mean to tell me this? You hit me up, you email me, you message me on Instagram, you put my face on the flyer, and then you take my face off the flyer. Why? Why? Because I told you to say that? Because I said that I wasn't going to cover up my... Ta- wow. Because I said I wasn't going to cover up my tattoos. You said, SQ, we don't want you. Wow. 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 That, that's, how, that's how you're going to do me? <laughs> Way of life, SQ. Keeping it 100. Ikena dropped me from their convention. Interesting, isn't it? Man, I, I was like... So today's video was going to be... It was going to be something else originally. Okay, it was going to talk about how... My first marriage ended within a year. That was going to be my first video. And some of you are like, oh my God, SQ, 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 SQ. You were married once before? Wait for that video to come out, inshallah. Uh, that was going to be the video originally. But then I thought that maybe I'll do that on Saturday or something. Because I got this flyer uh, from Ikra sent to my email, to my text message or email, one of them telling me to sign up for the next convention. And it's showing me the panel of people that are going to be there. And amongst that panel, I wasn't one of the names. I was in one of the faces that were there. And I remember initially, and I, this happened years ago as well too, because I personally believe that my ability to speak and through the grace of Allah, obviously, and convey a message and uplift and motivate people is second to none. I'd, I'd say it's probably the most unique and dare I say best out there. You know, everyone's great at what they do. This is something great that I do specifically. Other people could try it, but they're not going to have the same effect that I do. And, that, and, and look, 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 look. Before you get stuck for a look how arrogant he's become. Before you go down that route, I want you to think about this for a second, okay? When Muhammad Ali used to get into a ring with someone, right, to box them, he trusts Allah. He trusts that he practiced a lot. But you have to believe that you are the winner of that fight, does that make sense? That doesn't make him arrogant. A lot of people might think that, oh, he used to do all these things because you're psyching yourself up. You got to believe that you're number one. You are the best in the world before it actually comes true because that's the only way that you can achieve a goal like that. Is that making sense? Today's video is not going to be about me not making it to Ikna. Today's video is going to be about you not being where you want to be in your life. Does that make sense? Today's video is going to be about you not being where you want to be in life. You feel like you should be here, but in reality, you're here right now and you're feeling a certain type of way. That's what today's video is going to be about. But before we jump to this video, today's video is definitely brought to you and sponsored by Sindeed. Does it say Sindeed in the back? Oh, damn right it does. Oh, Bismillah. I'm going to just do a little catwalk for you. Do it like a little walk. You know what I mean? Right here. Sindeed, bro. These clothes are just so official. Some of you are like, SQ, why are you wearing those pink converses? That's just how I like to rock it, you know? I was going to wear a kufi today, but I decided something else. Representing Islam every day, man. These, uh, my sixth grade students are awesome, by the way. Awesome. And I was just talking to them, and, you know, their parents already love me, and their favorite teacher is a Muslim. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Right? But people are just like, no, 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 no. How are you living in, you know, the the countries of the kuffar? I should live in Muslim countries. Which Muslim country? This one? This one that is allowing homosexuality to uh, enter their country on purpose? Goddamn. All right. Anyways, let's go back to this. Maybe you're not exactly where you need to be in your life right now. Maybe you're not where you want to be. I'm for sure not where I need to be. Right? That's what keeps my drive alive. But from the outside looking in, you might be like, SQ, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got that. Allahumma barik, mashallah, no evil eye to you, SQ. How can you say you're not where you need to be? The moment you start watching your highlights is the moment you lose. You're not here to watch highlights, you're here to make highlights. Does that make sense? Yeah, your goal is to be something professional, maybe doctor, lawyer, engineer, something. Your goal is to memorize Quran. Your goal is to, whatever that goal is, for you to get from here to here to that goal, you got to go through this middle process right here. That middle process is the grind. That's the grind. If you could get through the grind, love the grind, fall in love with the grind, anticipate the grind, you're going to get out of that dip much more quicker, faster. And if it's not quicker or faster, let's suppose it still takes long, you're still going to enjoy that process. Because for you to be the best, to become the best, to be the greatest, or whatever it is, and as Muslims, we should be the greatest. Like, my goal is to be the best YouTuber, not just the best Muslim YouTuber, the best YouTuber, period. 
But if I settled on just Muslim YouTube, I think that's a pretty good goal too. You know? Originally, when I saw that thing, I'm just like, oh, my man Ali Dawa is there. MashaAllah, may Allah bless him and increase him. My man Hijab is there. May Allah bless him and increase him. Peers who I know, they're there. SQ, why didn't you get the invite? Shaitan comes to my ear and whispers, SQ, look at this, man. They don't value you. They don't care about you. You know what you should do? You should make a video, anti Ikna video. Oh, show them that video over here where you got kicked out of Ikna. Go show them that one. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, they don't love you, bro. They don't even appreciate you. Why are you still doing YouTube? Why do you even still post on Instagram when your Instagram followers are decreasing? Why, why, SQ, why are you wasting your time? That's, those are all the things that we hear the shaitan whisper to us. And by the way, that was my version. Yours is what? From medical school. Oh, you're not good enough for organic chemistry. You can't pass this. You can't. How are you going to do this? This exam. You failed the exam. You're not. There's something. There's some version for you. If it's for the Quran, bro, you keep messing up. You can't do this. Sister, you, you're not going to be able to memorize Quran. Look at you. You need to go to this. Look at all your friends having fun. You're here reading Quran. You're here studying, but they're having fun. Come on. Everyone has a version of that where the shaitan comes to your ear and they talk to you and he tells you that you're not qualified, you're not capable, you should give up. But let me ask you, did the messenger salsam not feel that way? Did the messenger salsam? Did the messenger salsam give up when he was stoned out of Taif? Did he give up when people wanted to boycott him? When they tried to cancel him? Can you believe that? Did he give up, want to quit? He probably wanted to, maybe. Maybe he felt bad. We have evidence in the Quran where the, uh, Allah SWT is consoling the messenger. He had feelings. But he never gave up on his mission. Because his mission was Al-Islam. That was his mission. That was his goal. He was never going to give that up. He can't give that up. You can't give that up. I can't give that up. We cannot give up. If you want to be great, if you want to achieve something, it's going to require you to do something above and beyond. If everyone could be a YouTuber, they would have been. If everyone could be Mr. Beast, they would have been. But his level of determination, grit and grind is different at a different level compared to even me who I think I grinded out. But these people are on a different level. For you to be the greatest, you have to make greater sacrifices. You want to be the best. If everyone could be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer, they would have been one. Right? But it's not easy. That system that calls you to quit out of it is a system designed to filter out the weak. And you're not weak. That's if you want to do it, right? And that's assuming your parents aren't forcing you to be a doctor, lawyer, blah, 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 blah. It's you. Because when it's you, you're going to make it happen no matter what. No matter how much you want to give up. Don't think for a second that I don't want to give up. But for me, that's giving up is way more harder than trying. That was a Kanye West line. Wherever you are in your life right now, just know that you might not be where you want to be. You might not be where you want to be, but Allah has you exactly where He wants you to be. Did that register? Register that in your mind. You and I might not be exactly where we want to be, but we are exactly where Allah wants us to be. And for that, we need to be grateful. We need to make more new and better positive meaning of the circumstances and situations that are happening in my life. The truth is that those who are at Ikna right now deserve it more than me. They do. They've worked harder more than me. They have more value to give people more than me, even though I know what I'm able to give. But the market, the, the, the world doesn't feel that way yet, and that's okay. You know what that makes me do? Go in my bag, get in my bag, be in my bag, and just work harder. Wake up earlier, pray more, more dua, more Quran memorization, more stuff for me. That's what's going to push me to the next level. That's how I do it. But not by sitting here whining, complaining, oh, Ikna, oh, they don't want to do this. They don't want me over there. They don't want SQ over there. I'm the best, blah, blah, blah. If I'm the best, let's prove I'm the best. Let me work harder than everyone over there. Plus, it's all online. It's a panel. I don't want to be in front of my computer. <laughs> I want to be on the stage influencing the people. When I went to South Africa, and I got to speak to all those beautiful schools in the beautiful masjids and do that, not only did I know before that this was like, this was like, I'm good at this. South Africa proved to me something by the will of Allah that I was made for this. And if I want to get at that level, I got to push myself to a work grind effort that no one else is doing for me to get to that level. So I could sit here and complain about it or I can actually do something about it. You could sit here and complain about your problems, about why you're not successful, or you could get up your ass and do something about it. Work harder than the other people. Steady longer than those people. 
Memorize more. Sacrifice. It's not sacrifice, guys. It's your mission. You're not sacrificing sleep. You're not, sa- you're not sacrificing going out with your friends. You're not, that's not a sacrifice. Those are all the part of your mission. Your mission is greater than your sacrifice. Your mission is to be whatever it is that you want to be. And you got to do whatever it takes to get to where you want to be. Guys, this video is definitely sponsored by Sindeed. You know, they're keeping me fly right now. And they're definitely paying me to wear this, right? They're not paying me to wear it to the point where I wouldn't. I'm only wearing it because they're paying me. I'm wearing it because it actually looks pretty fire. I don't know what you guys think. And maybe you're the consumer. It's more important what you guys think. But I think that this looks absolutely fire. Yeah, I know my did is a little out. But, you know, I'm working on it. I'm trying here. I'm trying. And I just I just love it, bro. Like, it's so... I gotten so many compliments, mashallah. And it allows me to keep my Islamic identity while still looking cool wearing some sneakers. The, the the cuffs of them are super like um like not, like like they, they sit well on the sneaker. I don't know if that makes sense. All right, but you know I got to make this a little bit more interesting for the the viewers in the front of the video uh, for the Ikna because they're gonna be like, "Oh, cool, you didn't really you clickbaited me and all that." Let me give them something to feel like I really clickbaited them. All right, so we're gonna work on this together. Okay, we're gonna try to develop something that looks really exciting and grabbing in the video. Okay, watch this, watch this. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be, I never thought of this. I'm gonna do it right now. So, wait, wait. You, you mean to tell me this? You hit me up, you email me, you message me on Instagram, you put my face on the flyer, and then you take my face off the flyer. Why? Why? Because I told you to say that? Because I said that I wasn't gonna cover up my tattoos. Wow. Because I said I wasn't gonna cover up my tattoos. You said, SQ, we don't want you. Wow. 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 That, that's, how, that's how you're gonna do me? <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you guys are getting a laugh out of this. This is just me being free and just say whatever the hell I want to say. Honest to God. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Check out some of my other videos. They're right over here somewhere. Go check them out. And uh, But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. My wife said yesterday my video was kind of long. I said she was probably right. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, I'm out.